Greetings YouTube. Ah, uh, the wonders of natural lighting. Uh, I love when the sun is out, it actually blankets the entire area with light. Um, the Weapon Collector uh, posted a video this morning, or last night, I don't remember which, where he talks about his three favorite um, horror movies, and specifically three obscure horror movies. Well, I'm just going to talk about my three favorite horror movies. Um, and the first would have to be John Carpenter's The Thing, which I have reviewed on this channel already in the past, so I'm just going to say it's on my list of top three. I mean, the commentary track between Kurt Russell and John Carpenter is worth the cost of the DVD alone. Highly recommended. A great time was had by all. Um, the second film, and these are in no particular order, would probably have to be the original Alien. Yes, Alien is viewed as a classic science fiction film, and it is, but it also is a classic horror film. The tagline for Alien was, in space, no one can hear you scream. And that screaming was because it's terrifying. The shooting style, the claustrophobic shot blocks, the narrow corridors, um, the close-up fast cuts, not to mention the lingering where the lingering would draw out the tension. And then there was the just absolute mundane aspects of the film. This, the day-to-day -day activities that were shown that were a wonderful background for all of the horror that, that ensued. I mean, in the chestburster scene, it's just so darn normal. Their friend is no longer sick. They're now having a, a meal, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. Um... So, one of the best horror films ever done, and one of the best science fiction films ever done, which is why it makes my list and why I consider it one of the better films ever made. Though I have to admit, of the, of the, fran of the franchise, Aliens, the second film, is my favorite. Um, Alien would be number two, then there would probably be Alien 4, and then Alien 3. Uh, Alien 3 was just not that good. Um, and then the last of my favorite horror films is Return of the Living Dead. Now, I don't really watch uh, zombie movies any longer. They just are nightmare fuel for me at this point in life, and I don't need nightmare fuel. But at one time, I was an aficionado of zombie movies, and I loved them. Um, I loved the classic Romero zombies the most. Uh, the original three films he did, one of which had an acquaintance of mine, an old gaming friend of mine, in she was an extra. She was uh, was a zombie. And uh, to me, the slow zombie was the most terrifying kind of zombie. Because you can outrun a zombie. You can even outrun a lot of zombies. But you're going to get tired. And the zombies aren't. You can try to be safer but there is no safe. Those slow zombies are the perfect metaphor for death itself. You can never escape from death. And you can never escape from those zombies. Now, having said that, and said I love the slow zombie metaphor, and I prefer them to the fast zombies that were used in the remakes of the, of the Romero movies, I still love Return of the Living Dead, because it was a takeoff on the Romero. It was a um, it was a send-up in many ways. It was made because those slow zombie movies had existed before it. It was based off of the same genre, the same storyline, the same myth. Literally, it was the, the storyline of Return of the Living Dead is based off the myth generated from those films. So it's essentially in the continuation of that story. Uh, and I will freely admit, one of the reasons I love that film so much, it is the best naked zombie scene in the history of zombie movies. Renea, uh, Linnea Quigley will go down in history as the best naked zombie ever. The soundtrack was awesome. It was a perfect fit for that time. Um, it's a snapshot of, of that era. And it's just a heck of a lot of fun. Um, it was goofy. And that has also got a solid um, comment track on it. I mean, really, 
well done listening to the crew members talk about what they went through to make that movie and the, you know the lengths they had to go through and with how they did this scene and that scene was very fun i really enjoyed listening to that and the acting act, the acting was awesome as far as zombie films go a lot of zombie films are done on a low budget so they don't have great scripts and they don't have great actors they got a number of good character actors in this film so I thoroughly enjoyed um, Return of the Living Dead. Now, the second one was not very good, in my opinion. The third one, however, was quite entertaining. It was uh, a rarity when the second one in a franchise is not as good as the first, but the third one was still worth worth watching. So that doesn't happen often. So those are my three favorite horror movies, um, though I haven't I haven't actually watched Return of the Living Dead in years. I don't know if I'll when I'll be watching it again. I still have it in my collection. Um, but The Thing and Alien, those are films that I could watch again and again without problem. Um, Alien is just so good. In fact, it's been, it's been a while since I've seen Alien. I should watch it again. Um, I think I have the DVD cut with these extra scenes in it as well that had been originally cut from the theatrical release. Uh, so I asked my viewers, um, what are your three favorite horror movies? Uh, I'm going to send this in as a uh, video reply to Mike's video. And if you so choose, you can send a video applied to him or to this video itself. And I hope you have a happy Halloween.